Hello viewers. Welcome to our YouTube channel Everything About Accounting. If you want to learn accounting easy and simple way, you are in the right place. We all know that the trial balance has very immense importance in accounting. Trial balance is prepared to verify the mathematical accuracy of the accounts. So, in this video, we will learn which factors should be considered in the preparation of the trial balance. Before we start please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for getting the regular updates about accounting videos. So, let's get started. Which factors should be considered in the preparation of the trial balance? The prime objective of the trial balance is to test and verify the arithmetical accuracy of accounts and that is why special attention is given and some important factors are also considered in case of including balances from the ledger to the trial balance. Factors 1. All assets, expenses, losses equals debit and all profit, revenue, liabilities, capital equals credit. Factors 2. It is necessary to be careful about the recording of the stock of goods. Value of the opening stock of goods recorded in the debit column as expense in trial balance for the date is prepared for. Factors 3. While adjusted purchase or cost of goods sold include in the trial balance, then closing stock of goods will be shown in the debit column of trial balance as assets without including the opening stock of goods. Because of. Adjusted purchase equals opening stock of goods plus net purchase minus closing stock of goods. Factors 4. In the case of stock of stationery, opening stock of stationery has to be shown in the debit column of trial balance but the closing stationery will not be included. Factors 5. Opening balance of current assets and liabilities i.e. cash in hand, bank balance, debtors, creditors etc. will not come in trial balance because these are adjusted with related accounts closing balance. Factor 6. Reserve created against assets, such as bad debts reserve or provision for doubtful debts, provision for discount on debtors or provision for discount payable, and provision for discount on bills receivable record in the credit of the trial balance. Factor 7. Provision created against liabilities, such as provision for discount on creditors or provision for discount on creditors or provision for discount receivable and provision for discount on bills payable. As per the conservatism convention of accounting, it is inappropriate to charge provisions against liabilities. If such provision is found in accounts, it may write in the debit column of trial balance. It is best to skip charging provisions on liabilities. Factors 8. In some account titles paid or received are not mentioned. In this case, they are considered as an expense and written on the debit side of the trial balance, such as rent, discount, commission, interest, etc. Factors 9. Sales ledger balance is considered as sundry debtors or accounts receivables and put on the debit side. Factors 10. Purchase ledger balances are considered as sundry creditors or accounts payables and put on the credit side. Contingent liability and anticipated assets are not included in trial balance because business is not confirmed regarding their certainty. They are shown within the footnote. Factors 11. If any disagreement is found, even after taking all necessary careful measures, then the suspense account is open temporarily to equal debit and credit columns. A suspense account is not a permanent kind of solution rather it is a temporary arrangement. At the end of the video, I think you're clear which factors should be considered in the preparation of the trial balance. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and share. You can also visit our official website www.everythingaboutaccounting.info for free accounting tutorials. Thanks for watching.